Hi everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox and today we're going to look at understanding walking bass lines in the key of C major and I made some changes to my jam tracks that I think are going to be really helpful and can't wait to show you how it works. Let's get started. Today we're mainly going to be using a Fretboard Toolbox complete four string bass book and we will be looking at the key of C major and um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that these are the chords. These six chords here are the main chords uh, that we're going to be playing today. And I want you to know the one notes and the five notes especially, but also for major chords, the three, and minor chords, the flat three. If that doesn't make sense, hopefully it will here in a bit. And we're going to be using the jam tracks from the Fretboard Toolbox website. So if you uh, go to the uh, free jam tracks, on, you go uh, tracks and tab, 200 free jam tracks, and then you'll click on the key of C major. And those are the tracks we're playing today. And so uh, what's, uh, what I've changed here is these chord notes are going to go with the chord progression. So the chords are going to be in the same order as the chord progressions, which seems like a basic idea, but I didn't have it like that at first. So what we're going to be doing uh, with this first thing is just playing with the just C major backing track and focusing on the notes C and especially G, so the one and five notes. But when we look down at this fretboard layout here, everything in white boxes is going to be the C major scale, and everything in um, everything uh, you can find the C notes and the G notes. Uh, and so, when for this first progression, we're going to focus on just C and G, and we might use some uh, notes and white boxes to walk around. So let's just get this track on here, and so this will be all C major on guitar. So I'm playing C. major scale with that jam track. So that's just goofing around with just the C major, uh, just to kind of get your bearings here. And then for the second progression we're going to be playing, it's going to be C, G, C. So C major is my one chord and focus on C and G. And then when it goes to the G major, the five chord will focus on G and D notes. So let's get that track started. So focus on C and G. And then when it goes to the G major, we're going to focus on G and D or G and D up here. We'll try to play it in some different places, but um, just know that uh, the main thing we're focusing on is when it's C major, it's C and G, and G major, we're focusing on G and D. So let's try that. Okay, it's on this C right now. So that's just the main idea is that if you can see if you know those chord notes um, it makes the um, bass progressions make a lot more sense and then you're just building muscle memory but the, to me the muscle memory sticks way better when you can see those notes so we'll play a one four five next c and g for the c f and c for the f and g and d for the g major so you can pause at any time and try to find some different ways to mess around uh, with those um, note combinations and use the notes and white boxes to get around and see what you can see what you can come up with with those free jam tracks all right one four five
So I'm trying to just show you some various ways to get around and I'm no bass expert. I just wrote the uh, fretboard toolbox book for bass. So I've got to try to, <laughs> to make it work here. Uh, and, and, but I had so much fun playing today with these jam tracks. I hadn't done this in a long time. And so what I, the big change I made today was, um, so this one, five, four progression. Now those are going to be in the order. And so I used to have C F G, which made no sense. It was just numerical order. But now when we're going to go C G F, we're going to focus on C G then G, D, then F, C, and then use those same kind of white box notes to get around. So let's try a one, five, four here. So the chromatic walk down is we're playing this G flat or F sharp note as we go from the G to the F. And so uh, finding those places where you can walk down and, and then it gives it kind of a cool sound because you're breaking a rule because G flat is not in this key. Like that would be G, C, D, E, F, G flat. But when you're going, it works. And so uh, seeing where you're breaking the rules is always uh, really, really helpful too, and it trains your ear a ton. So that's a one five four. Let's play a one six four five. So now we're going C G, and the six will be A E, and then F will be F C, and G will be G D. So let's give that a try. So here's C G, and I could go C B A, and I need A and E. So we'll try that. And then we need F and C and then G and D. So we'll try that one first and then see what I feel like doing. So there I was just kind of jumping around, just kind of playing. And so I'm still building those shapes in my head too, um, but just kind of seeing where you're at. And I didn't do as much walking there because I was I was just playing. Like this is a place where you can just experiment and uh, and mess around and, and have someone playing guitar for you as long as you want to hear it. And, uh, and then just kind of see what works. And remember, every time you make a mistake, um, your brain is being trained. Like those mistakes are absolutely critical. People get frustrated and like, oh, I don't want to make mistakes. Like, no, those are critical. Um, so make your mistakes. Uh, I do all the time and I leave them in the videos because I, it's important for people to see that that's how the process works. All right, so here's uh, C major, A minor, D minor, and then G major. So when I'm just looking around here and I see, um, so if I'm playing my C major like this and then I want to get to the A minor, I could go. Because that's A, E, A, or I could go A, E, A, like, like this. Now 
that's to the four chord. Uh, so C down to A. And then when I'm playing A, E, A, E, then I need to get up to this D so I can, like, how am I going to do that? I don't know. Okay, that's nice. So B, C, D, A, D, E, F, G, D. Again, just goofing around, like finding finding ways to do it. Let's let's try that with the track here and see if we can do that same kind of idea. Just like uh, seriously pause it and, and play. Um, put on the jam tracks on your phone and leave this fretboard up here and just see what you can come up with. It's it's really fun and it's it does tons tons to train your brain. Um, let's do uh, C to D minor to F. So C and then I'm gonna go to D minor. Maybe I'll do D minor up here. So I'll play C, G, C, and then I'll try a chromatic walk up to D minor. And then I need to get to an F, and then I need to get to a G. So let's just try to keep it in this spot right here and see how that works. So that works well enough, um, and uh, and you might find thousands of cooler ideas, um, and I hope you do um, because um, I'm just wanting to show you kind of what's safe out here, and then uh, and give you a different way to see it. So let's play a last one. This one's a cool descending progression. It goes five four one, so G D F C C G. So let's mess around with that for a sec. So, of course, I'm obviously not trying to show you how to master the bass um, it, because I'm just learning. But uh, hopefully you can see that when you can see those notes all over the place. And the cool thing about the fretboard toolbox um, complete editions is that they have those notes for all these keys, all the, all the uh, major keys in chromatic order, all the relative minor keys and the blues keys. And then the essential books are a little different because those just have the keys of 
let's see here, it just has the keys of G, A, C, D, and E major. But the um, what it does have that's cool is like if we look, clicked on the key of C major, it's got these circles that um, that highlight the chord notes. So if C major is C E G, and we were focusing on the one five. F major is F A C, and then it's got the layout of the fretboard with all those um, chord notes. So there's your one chord, here's your four chord. Here's your five chord, and then uh, and then it's got the minor chords. So when we play D minor, that's D, F, and A. So anywhere I can just do D and A, I'm playing that one and five. And you can kind of see it all over. So this really helps to see those chord shapes if you're interested in that. And, uh, and this lets you just see uh, black and white of all those keys. So uh, anyways, uh, I hope you found something useful there. And if you want to learn more about fretboard toolboxes, go to pick your instrument at the fretboard toolbox website and you can click on any instrument and all the books are set up just to like. And if you want to know the difference between the essential and complete books, I've got a video on that and a table that shows the differences. It's the most common question I get asked. Print and ebook options and all my base videos. And then if you click look inside on any of my books, you can download all of the key of G major pages for free and all the instructions and spend a little bit of time here if you're finding some useful stuff uh, poke around at all these free tools here um, I've got all sorts of stuff to mess around with and and uh, hopefully help you see music in a new interesting way and uh, hopefully it makes an impact on your playing so I appreciate you taking a look and I'll be back on more fretboard Fridays with more videos on more of my favorite instruments